Hello, and first of all, thank you for giving me some of your valuable time. My name is Larry Morris, and I'm the Financial Shaman. On this video, we're going to talk about how to not get discouraged when you're taking on a big undertaking. Like when you have a big, big project, a multi-year project, or you have a project that you don't know how long it's going to take. Maybe it's your heart's calling. Maybe it's mastering some new skill. The best way to go about it is to not look at the gap from where you are to where you want to be. I know it's easier said than done, but just follow me on this. Most people get into a, a rough time when they think about being a master. Let's just let's just say it's energy healing. I know I use that one a lot as an example, but let's say you want to be a master energy healer, Reiki healer, whatever, body shaman, and you understand that that's going to be a big, big undertaking. That's going to take years. And you probably aren't doing it. You may be not doing it every day. Maybe you're only doing it at night or on the weekends or when you have spare time and you're like, wow, this is going to take a long time. Don't look at where you are going necessarily or the gap between where you are and where you want to be because that's going to make you discouraged. You're going to compare where you are and where you think you should be. Or you're going to make up a story about where you think you should be, and that's dangerous. That's what's causing the discouragement. When you feel the negative emotion of, oh, man, you know, you're let down, you're like, oh, I'm frustrated with how fast this is going or how slow this is going. Stop and ask yourself, what do I have to believe about this situation? Typically, what it's tied to is your not good enough story. I'm not good enough to be where I want to be. Or it's tied to urgency in some way. I want to get to where I want to go because I'm tired of being where I am now. You don't accept that everything that's happening now is exactly what's supposed to be there. Even if it's painful. I know that's tough. Trust me, I do. When you're in a really, really tough situation and you just want out, and first of all, if you're in, in, in or around any type of violence or abuse, just leave. The universe will have your back. Just go. What I'm talking about is like, you know, heavy day in and day out, trudging through the mud of, I got to learn this thing, I got to do this thing, it's another thing. This goal keeps, or this, you know, not goal, but this intention of mine keeps, se keeps seeming to move farther and farther away. Do not look at where you want to be. Just look at where you're at. It's all about the step that you're on. That's all that matters is the step that you're on. Focus only on the step that you're on. Don't look more than the step that you're on and maybe one step ahead and that's it. You know the old saying, how do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. Well, you're going to get pretty discouraged if you're on bite one. You're going to get pretty discouraged if you're halfway through and you're full or whatever. You know, it's, a, it's a terrible analogy, but where is a, a, the journey of a thousand miles begins with the step you're on? Right? With certain things, you don't know how long they're going to take, but you do know that every step will be succinct to the next. Every step will gradually get you where you want to go. You know, if you remember being in school, if you're in sixth grade and you're looking at, wow, 12th grade to get to high school or become a senior, that's six years. No one does that, thankfully. You only look at, I'm in sixth grade, I'm moving to seventh grade. Bring it in close. Because what the ego will do will try to discourage you by saying you will never become a master by looking at how far you have to go. Just focus on today. Can you master your thing today? Can today be enough? I did a little bit today. That's enough. Let it be enough, especially if that's what your heart says is enough. You must wrestle your imagination away from looking at the gap and just focus on what is manageable today. Today is where all your power is. Today is where all your power is to do anything. Tomorrow's problems or challenges will be there tomorrow, but you can't handle them today. Don't look at the gap. When you feel discouraged, ask yourself, am I looking at the gap? And if is this about my not good enough story? Or is it that I'm, you know, I used to think about the future a lot before I started this spiritual journey. But I noticed, looking back now, I thought about the future a lot because I was scared. 
I was scared I was doing it wrong. I was my not good enough story was so strong. You know, I was constantly hearing in my head how I'm not doing the right thing or I'm I'm crazy or whatever. You're out on a, a limb. It's just fear. Just eat the bite that you're on. Just focus on the step that you're on. Don't look at the gap. Everything will work itself out. It's all gradual. Anything that you've ever mastered, realize that it takes 10,000 hours to master anything. 10,000 hours. And until, you know, up until 900 or 9,900 hours, you're not a master yet. You're still just good at it. But you look back and you're like, wow, I've accomplished a lot. So if you have to look anywhere, don't look forward, don't look at the gap, don't go into imagination. Look at what you've done, what you have accomplished. From where you started, from where you first got hooked on this highest excitement or this skill or this project. Sometimes when you take on a big project, just kind of getting an idea of the problems that you can see. Like, what is the problem I'm trying to solve? Sometimes that's enough just to kind of map that and start to go at it one piece at a time. Jigsaw puzzle, one piece at a time. It's much better to look back and see all the synchronicity, all the evolution, all the perfect mistakes, perfect failures. Oh, I remember when I thought this way and then it didn't work and then I had to come back, re-examine it, change it, update it. I'm so glad that happened because now I, I know that part of it. That's how everything goes. Don't look at the gap. Just focus on the step that you're on. If you feel discouraged, take time away. Investigate what's underneath those feelings. You got this. Every challenge you've ever take, taken on, you've defeated. 100% or got around it somehow. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here. So, relax. It's all okay. See you next time.